hello guys welcome to solving solutions on the channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's tutorial we are going to show you how to auto generate the geometry attributes of your vector data so we have opened the attribute table of the building layer we want to create um, two new fields called the area and the perimeter so the data type for area will be decimal and then the length will be 10 with a three um, decimal place and um, precision right good so we click on ok then the second one we want to create is what the perimeter so what these two will do is that we are going to use the um, field calculator tool um, to now auto populate what these two fields right so we have the area and we have the perimeter so we now come to the um, open field calculator um, under which we are going to update an existing field so the first of which is our area so now when we select area we now search for the tool which is a um, dollar sign area right good so which is under geometry double click when you double click you are going to see the preview giving you the area of what one of the polygons right good so we click on ok it has populated it with what the area of the different polygons similarly we can come to the perimeter we still open the um, the field calculator trying to update an existing field called the perimeter and then we also search for what perimeter now what this does is it returns what the perimeter value of what the different polygons so we click on ok now what we want to achieve on today's tutorial is that you know each of these um, polygons here we, we are able to get their perimeter and their area alongside maybe any other information that we wanted to generate after we had digitized them because you know the fields were empty so what we want to show you is that upon digitizing or as you are digitizing you should be able to see the area and what the perimeter of any polygon that you have digitized so for you to achieve that you right click on the layer you come to properties under properties you come to attributes form right good now under the attributes form you are going to see the available widget and then you are going to see the different fields so the first of the fields are what the area when you click on the area you are going to see different information about the area general widget type the constraints default and then what the policy right good so now what we are interested in what is this default so the default value which will be generated when you are digitizing any feature into that uh, what you call it into that polygon layer right good so okay do you know what happened let us close this for now and then try to digitize right good so when we try to digitize we are going to appreciate what we are talking about so we click on what add polygon feature and then we just try to add this particular polygon feature randomly to see the outcome when you right click you now see that it's asking you what is the name of the building let's still leave it as um, yes with a double s to distinguish between what was here and what we are doing and then you can see now that um, the area value is null the perimeter value is null because as we were digitizing it was not being auto generated so we click on ok so what we want to achieve now is that we need to automatically generate what the geometry properties as we are digitizing so to achieve that we come back to where we were which is um, the area then we come to the default value now under the default value you click on this expression builder when you click on that expression builder what you want to tell qgis is that anytime you are using this particular layer to digitize it should populate the area field with what the area as we are digitizing it so we search for what area just like we did on the field calculator so we have what dollar sign area right good so this will now automatically populate the area alongside the perimeter or maybe any other geometry feature you want to and um, geometry field you want to use to populate your your layer right good so we click on ok and then we apply similarly we can still come to the perimeter then for the default value we still click on the expression builder and then we search for what perimeter we have the dollar sign perimeter we click on ok 
and then we also apply right good so we can now click on ok so upon doing that we have now instructed them um, qgis that anytime we are digitizing it will populate what the field with the the area and what the perimeter values so now let's do a few more digitizations and then let's see so we can decide to just take this polygon you now see the area and the perimeter is what auto populated so we can still call this yes with the double s we click on ok if we do for this other one again which is um, this extent so you now see how to or to generate what you see the area the perimeter so we also call this what yes with the double s so you now see how what the area and the perimeter can be auto populated so this is not this is not only active on what your polygon layer you can also do it for what for your line layer so if you come to the open attribute table you can also decide to create what a new field let's say call it length and then we want it to be decimal number to three decimal places then we come to the open field calculator updating an existing field the length we can now search for what the length to right which is a um, dollar sign length then we click on ok so you now see what it has been populated right so if we decide to save let's also dock that now if we want to start digitizing into the line layer let's say we start from here we move from this end to this end finally to this end and we stop you know the length is not being displayed right so we just call this yes with the double s as well just to show that we digitize that so we click on ok so for us to now or to generate the geometric properties we still come towards the properties we come to the attributes form then from the attributes form we click on what length and then under the default value we come to the expression builder and then we um, search for length which is what um, dollar sign length right so we click on ok apply and then ok so this is applicable to any geometric property of your vector layer that um, you want to auto generate right but so you just um, define the expression or the formula in the expression builder and then as you digitize so now let's see this particular road it will auto generate what the length of this road for us you now see this is the length we have actually what digitized and um, auto generated unlike allowing us to go back to the field calculator to generate it so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we have shown you how to use this um, auto generating the geometry attributes of your your vector data maybe in terms of um, lines or polygons and then maybe to know the lens the area perimeter as the case may be so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye